Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, this is uh, the level designer, and my name's Jeremy, and I'm here with a new Overwatch video. And as you can see, uh, my audio quality is gonna probably be a lot better in this video, uh, more so than what it was last few videos. Uh, probably actually all my videos. Uh, but I did did I did get this uh, handy dandy new mic um, that you could probably see in my webcam right now. And I also got a, a new nice pair of headphones. So I'm hoping that uh, this will kind of enhance uh, the quality of my videos moving forward, especially in the audio department. Um, and hopefully, yeah, I uh, sound a lot less tinny, but I think I'm gonna continue to kind of play around with the audio settings. So uh, in the next few videos, um, audio quality, questionable, I don't know, but uh, it's gonna be an ongoing experiment and I am excited to see, uh, you know, how my videos, oh, and I hit my uh, microphone right there. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited to see how the quality kind of improves from here. So uh, to kind of get into the pro uh, the video um, proper, I guess I was gonna say, um, I'm here with another video um, for my Overwatch map. And as you can see here, I have the map um, brought up on, on Photoshop. I probably won't have this uh, up in the video itself, but I'm gonna drag this over to my second screen uh, so I have that and then here I'm gonna be basically opening up this video or this project not video so um, yeah we kind of last time that we were on this map we were working a lot with this kind of area uh, just making kind of this bridge area where we can go through um, on my second screen right now though, I'm going to bring up uh, pictures of Times Square uh, just so I have that uh, kind of in my head right now. Uh, and all of this I'm just going to keep on my second screen so I have a little bit more room to uh, play around with. Um, but yeah, I think what I need to do is just make some squares. So again, if we want to go back into the geometry, we just go into brush editing here, and then um, we can move to our geometry shapes. And what we wanna do here is we wanna just kind of basically block this out. And what we need to do is kind of, I'm gonna look at the map that I have in Photoshop I might have to put on all of my different like labeling that I have so I know for sure like what to look for. Um, okay, so uh, we have a kind of a, a thing here and then we have giant TV studio and what I was kind of thinking with that was um, MTV Times Square. So MTV again, uh, if you've seen in my previous videos, um, you know that like, um, I've kind of discussed it, but like MTV has this uh, like really open windowed, open windowed just studio. So that's kind of uh, something that I wanna kind of play around with. And I'm not entirely sure, um, you know, how to initially go about this. But what I want to do is just make a giant building. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop a, a box. Okay. <laughs> I was like, hopefully this didn't freeze or anything. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of spin this. I was starting to kind of get a bit, I don't know. So I'm trying to think. 
I might have to kind of uh, move this around manually, but we will select this face right here. I don't know if I can get closer to it. Yeah, so this is uh, not really level, but we can always change that. So I'm just going to select this and I'm just going to kind of play it by ear, play it by eye. Okay. And then I'm going to move the camera speed down a bit just so um, I think that's fine. So yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Um, I'm still not too like crazy about this. Uh, so I might move that up a bit. And really, I don't know. First of all, I think I'm going to move this face inside of here. And then I'm going to move this just out here. So there's not a lot of space to, to walk. Um, actually, I'm going to move that in. I don't know. It's kind of different. Like, I, I feel like, I don't know. It's really hard to kind of tell how this is exactly set up, um, from the images. What is going on with this? I don't know. A part of me wants to really just pull this, push this back to if I'm allowed to. Maybe. Alright, can I please select this, uh, please? There we go. So yeah, I, I'm really thinking about pulling this back. Like, much further back than, uh, originally anticipated. Uh, mainly because, well, this has to come out. And the reason why I'm doing this is because in these pictures, uh, you can see that, um, well, maybe I can open the image in a new tab and then just zoom, zoom out, uh, zoom in. Yeah. So see here that, um, you know, there's kind of this, um, uh, it's kind of this, uh, wall here and it just kind of wraps around. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to make it, um, I guess a little bit lifelike, I guess. I don't really know. But, um, yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, with that in mind though, um, we're going to have to fix this bridge. Um, luckily there's not much that we really need to do. Uh, we just need to pull this back. sure that that's in and then uh, we're just gonna pull this this back as well and again like sometimes these shapes just are kind of weird um, if you're having issues like selecting a shape like that 
I usually go to like the corner of the face itself uh, in order for it to like really, really get selected. Oh, what am I selecting? I have no idea. Okay, so let's go back to the shape. And, um, well, actually, before that, um, did I? I have no idea what I have done. Okay, so yeah, I guess I did select that. I don't remember. So I don't know. I'm very just, uh, I'm very confused. Okay, so with this, uh, I'm gonna just select this. Um, and I'm just gonna bring this up. Oh, I might even do, hmm. This would be kind of tallish. Try to get kind of like a perspective, maybe. I'll lower it just a little bit. So now I'm going to really bring this uh, side out. Gotta wait till my computer decides to work properly a little bit. <laughs> um, I might even bring this uh, side in just so it um, a little bit more parallel to the sidewalk. I'm trying to kind of make sure that that's not crazy. And the more that I'm thinking about it, the more that I might actually just bring this whole entire building. If I can find an edge. I can find a selection. There we go. Yeah, like for some reason, just selecting like the ver the like the corner at its absolute just point is like for some reason. I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this out. Again, I'm not too familiar with what this building overall looks like. Um, seems like there is like a, does seem like there's an alleyway? So let me drag this out real fast. And then uh, we can open this up in another image and just zoom in. So it does look like there's like an alleyway or a street right next to this, but that's not, that's not something that I normally have in mind for this. I, I really want to close this off. So we are going to take some creative liberties with that. Um, again, I'm just playing this by eye. Uh, from images that I'm I'm seeing on images I'm seeing on uh, Google, really. Um, but I am gonna actually. I think I'm gonna more bring this out even further down. There's another really pretty good image that I could see. Um, oh. Someone already made like a 3D render of it. I don't know. Okay, yeah, here. Here's one. I'm gonna open that one up. I'm just trying to get like some good kind of uh, images of like the side, I guess. And it, the weird thing is it, it looks like there's like a good amount of like shops. I'm gonna open that one up. And I'm sorry I'm doing this kind of off screen, but 
Uh, I wanted to kind of just bring up some of these images and I can kind of bring them over to the side. Well, it's kind of nighttime. It's going to probably be kind of hard to see. Uh, maybe that one is good as well. Uh, so I'm just going to bring these over uh, just to show you guys uh, kind of what I'm seeing. But you see that, uh, you know, this comes out and there's like this diagonal screen here that, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of interesting. Um, it is going to be kind of odd, though, considering that, um, you know, that's probably going to be over here. But what we could do is we could change it around and we could have that be over here. So that's something that we can kind of have be a bit different. Um, so what we could do is, again, we could move this back. For some reason, uh, I think this was happening last uh, episode with this, but uh, Unreal just seemed to kind of chugging chugging along a bit so uh, bear with me on that but yeah I think uh, I'm gonna just move this all the way back here and again I might move this closer that way Just want to line it up kind of with the sidewalk that might be pretty good i might move it back just a little bit more okay um no i'm well actually i like that where that's at this though i think could be a little bit more closer so this I am going to move back a little bit and just eyeball the space in between the kind of the front area and the building. So then this I'm going to just bring in like this and just connect the two. So we have this um, we kind of have this going. I might even bring this back. And then I'm also going to go down here and I'm going to select this. I'm just going to drag that beneath the main kind of plane that we have. So we got that. So now what I want to do is uh, I want to really open this up. Whoa. Uh, so kind of the idea is we have this kind of just open floor here that has all of these windows. So what I'm thinking about doing is just cutting out just a nice slice having it that kind of be open and um, what we could also do is just take a look inside of the like the studio and just kind of see how it's shaped and just kind of create a, a block out of that area and uh, make it look fairly similar again um, make uh, you know let's not be scared to make some uh, you know creative uh, differences and whatnot so, I, I think I'm going to do that now. Oh yeah, and let me see if I can bring up those other images. So, we had this, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch that over to the other side. And then that's kind of another kind of um, angle of what this is going to look like. So you can see that it... It's kind of like catty cornered a bit. Um, so, you know, this looks like there's the doors here, and then there looks like to be 
smaller shops underneath the actual MTV studios that they have here. And then uh, this is just kind of another kind of far, further away kind of angle uh, where you can see that uh, this is just going to be a giant screen that goes up. And then uh, this is, yeah, kind of that other vi um, angle on the other side. Um, we're probably not going to have this uh, open, uh, but we will definitely, um, or maybe we're going to have it open and just have it be another thing. Like, I don't really know, uh, but we can kind of play around with that and see um, what we want to do. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of keep that in mind. Oh, we'll just keep that there and we'll just drag this window over. Um, but, yeah, um, let's start. <laughs> um, placing just uh, an area in there. And also, let me look and see what their New York studio I haven't I haven't looked at um, I haven't looked at like I haven't watched in TV in a while but I don't really know what like their the inside of their studio looks like but we can really do some cool stuff with that area um, so again if we, I'm gonna go back and kind of look at just the overall picture and, and size and I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna place another kind of just block and I might put it up there I just have to wait for it to go in okay so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rotate this and just try to line it up the best that I can so you can see that uh, the lines are kind of like light blue and then if it goes into the when it goes into the shape it, it, it really darkens so again, I, I'm just going to try to line this up the, the best that I can. All right, so now I'm just going to really start widening this. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go subtractive until I kind of block out the overall start starting size of it I guess is the a good way to put it I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select these uh, and another thing that I want to kind of keep a track of match I want to I want to um, Scale materials, yep. to go back and, and do this um, again but there's a way that I could like match this square size of everything so that's something that I, I want to kind of try to achieve 
Um, I might uh, go back in later and, and really fine tune that at another time, uh, just so I'm not stopping the pace of the video. But uh, again, I want to really go in here and just um, kind of cut this uh, area out. So we have this going. Um, this is pretty. It's pretty on the nose with uh, how it's lined up. Uh, so I'm going to go back in, down here and I'm going to just select this. And then I'm just going to move that all the way down here. And again, you might have to go back in and, and resize and fine tune those, uh, those uh, scale values. So again, like we might want to go back inside. Uh, since it's subtractive, I mean, it might not matter too much, but um, it never hurts to try to be a little bit precise. Just so if there's something else that uh, we need to kind of work around, if there's something that we need to, uh, you know, keep in mind, we can do that. Uh, but yeah, now let's just go in and just uh, bring this in. We're going to bring it in pretty far. And this is kind of the main reason why we don't want to necessarily make this subtractive because it's going to be a lot easier to bring everything up and, and to size the shape. And we can kind of see where everything's at anyway, so that's not too bad. And we have like, this is kind of poking out a bit. Uh, so we could still kind of fine tune this. Um, if we can get to that point. Nope. There we go. So I'm just going to slide that in a little bit further. And close up that kind of gap that was in between the uh, building wall and the catwalk. Uh, so that should be a lot uh, further and we don't even have to make like more windows we can just kind of keep that uh, solid uh, so kind of back to this um, you can see here that there is kind of a, an edge that we just barely just Um, maybe that will uh, really make it. Yeah, I don't know if that really did anything. But um, we can go up here and then we can just uh, size this up a, a lot more. Again, we don't want to have like the whole entire uh, area uh, go up. Uh, so like on this uh, reference, you see that the studio, I mean, the, the, the studio, the walls could probably be actually a lot higher too. Um, like this could all, this could probably go all the way up, but um, to just kind of keep it simple for now, um, we're just going to close in the edge here. Uh, so if we move this up all the way oh actually no that's not what we wanted to do I'm sorry let me go back in and uh, fix that just by pressing undo uh, we do want to make sure that this is all um, looking good size wise but I think I think it does we will just kind of keep that at, like that And then now, uh, let's go ahead and just uh, turn this to subtractive and just see what uh, what it looks like. 
Um, again, we might have to go back and uh, look at other reference images of like the actual studio and what that looks like. Uh, but as you can see here, this is kind of looking kind of uh, not great. <laughs> So uh, what we could do is just um, go ahead and select this line, I guess. We could do that. And then um, let me see if there's an easy way to do this. It uh, doesn't seem like there really is. But um, we could just kind of work our way and just kind of cut that hole out and try to stick close to kind of the the outer wall as much as possible um, again uh, we might just move this over here I uh, just keep kind of adjusting I think that's uh, the best that we can really do um, yeah I think that's gonna be good and we can kind of keep this kind of wall open here and then um, we can do kind of the same thing over here uh, pretty much um, you know we don't even really have to worry about um, cutting into this kind of square that's right next to this building uh, because there's uh, going to be a separate wall right here anyway so um, we just kind of have to get a general kind of just area cut out for it um, another thing that we could also do is just play around um, with a, a material so let me just see if there's a good uh, glass material that I can just throw together. Um, glass material. Use glass material. Tinted glass. I apologize if uh, audio comes through on a video, uh, but I'm just trying to see if there's a simple way I can create a glass. That actually looks pretty good. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna try to make a quick um, glass material. So right here I have a material right here but this uh, I'm gonna call it tinted glass and yeah uh, when you're working on levels and stuff don't be afraid to um, you know really build out materials and such um, because yeah I mean materials and stuff like even these uh, kind of uh, just um, glowing wall security walls I mean, they really help um, with stuff with really uh, you know yeah I think it's vector three vector um, I'll have to take a look yeah I think this is it so we got that. I think that's what uh, he's doing. So again, I'm just kind of watching a quick uh, video of someone just making a glass uh, material. So you don't really necessarily have to do, what is it, scene color? All right. So um, I'm gonna just put a scene color here. Uh, I'm getting really hungry. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep this uh, video uh, around an hour long. Um, it's about 30 minutes, so I still got a, a good a ways to go. But I'm telling you, once I get done with this video, I'm gonna be eating some food, and it's gonna be great. So I have a scene color, and we have another parameter thing. Um, I don't even know if this is what. Um, What's constant vector three? 
I'm just gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna do constant vector three. I think this is what I need. Yeah, this looks uh, a lot more correct. Okay, so I'm going to, well, do that, yeah. I'm so uh, used to other, like, uh, I think uh, like shift A is like, I don't know, I think that's some with blender or something. Um, so yeah, we have that. Um, we go in here. Um, create like a same color, I guess. Edge tint color. We can rename this, right? That's what he did. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? We'll just keep it like that. Okay, so. It's going to have a multiply. Go here, so he goes there. Multiply. So. The scene color is going to go into there. Parameter. Okay, so wait. Constant. I think he just, okay. So I think I have a good idea of everything. Convert to parameter. So it's there, convert to parameter. This is edge opacity. Oh, it's not what I want. Edge opacity. Okay. One minus. Again, I'm just kind of watching through this video. So this is another multiply. Just quickly learning how to put together a shader, I guess, or material uh, using this. And that goes into emissive color. So I guess what we could do now is um, just save that. UI. You can use the scene color now. Only translucent materials. Do I have to do translucent? Okay. That makes sense. Though I don't know why. Let me take a look. Okay, yeah, he changed it to translucent. But it's like more green. Translucent surface shading model. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of odd. Just take a, maybe another look and see. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But uh, what I'll do is I will go ahead and... Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's what it's supposed to look like. I, I'm sorry, guys. So, 
uh, instead of a geometry shape, what I'm going to do is just go and, and drop a cube. And this cube, I'm just going to make like a pane of glass. Uh, so this is just going to be a very basic plain shape. And the idea is to make this really... Um, Might even unsnap that. Okay. So that's good. So again, I might uh, just have this come out a bit. Um, and we can kind of play with the shape again later. Uh, once we get the material kind of on it, but. So we have that going. Um, again, we could probably really just um, focus on this, uh, but we will put that as the tint that we need. And we'll probably play around with it over here. This will probably be a better place to play around with. Um, so we have that. It's looking like that. So what does this guy do now? A brush. Mesh paint. I think so. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. View mode. RPG channels. So do that, okay. Um, and then paint color. I don't even know if this is really what uh, he's doing, but okay. <laughs> different so on this video he's painting the edges and it's now black and everything's like light not going oh my god I'm just in select mode I just want to select the shape I don't think I can it's not wait Q there we go okay maybe I need to like this out and then go into mesh paint there we go I think that's okay I think that's what I needed to do and mesh paint and then 
So everything's like black now. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna color everything black. Uh, because what we want is we want the edges to be, um, we want the edges to be white. So, I'm guessing that this means that, um, so I'm learning a lot of stuff right now about, uh, material painting and, and whatnot. Uh, but we want to have all this be black and then we want to have the edges be white so right now I'm just gonna well yeah maybe we should just keep that <laughs> we'll have that and then we'll have that I don't know I'd feel better if it was just all black right now I can kind of just do what uh, yeah Okay, so now we just uh, have everything be white now. So this guy in this video, let me just go back. He paints the corners. So uh, let's do that now. So if we just go like this. Does that. Does that. Once he kind of does that, I don't really know if this is going to really do anything, but... Let me make it a bit, uh... So now what he does is he goes there, turns that off, and he goes back into the uh, material. Just let me, oh, let me get out of that. Let me go back into there. Go back into here. And now he is going to go into the vertex color. Color. Just kind of learning as I go. This is what these videos are all about is just learning stuff. So, this guy is gonna go into and do a multiply. Whoa, I don't like math. Math has never been a good subject for me, but yet yeah, here I am. <laughs> okay, so um, he instead takes this and he puts that in there and he takes that and he puts that in there instead so just replaces that so he saves that So he just copied all of the stuff. Whoa. Okay. So what he did was, um, I'm just gonna move that there and then move that up here. 
and you just took all of this and just duplicated it like this <coughs> Opacity. So top opacity. That just goes in there, and that probably will go in there. So then this will go into emissive color. Great. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing. This color, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna save that. Okay, I can just see it now. Nice. how this has some green on the side of it though but I don't know if that's really what we want to go for um, but again we uh, in the video he's gonna have us go back into the thing Another constant there. This is going to be roughness. Okay. Over to parameter. What is he going to call it? Roughness. Okay then. Thank you. 
there's gonna be a nice window. Oh, I think I can kind of see it now. Two sided. Awesome. Really cool. Save. Wow, so that is how you make glass. So we might not have learned a lot about level design, but we sure as hell learned how to make glass. That's looking nice. Awesome. So what we could do is um, go back to this area and then um, I just place this uh, glass here and then you just kind of match that up maybe um, take off the snapping and just kind of fine-tune it I guess that looks that looks sharp I'm really I'm really liking that a lot and what we could do to start to kind of make it even is we can um, just go into here and just uh, really duplicate it, right? need to do as well is um, <clears throat> well first of all um, let's pull these out of it like this I think that would probably look better and then what uh, one thing that we might want to do as well is add in like some support beams so like when we look at this building you can see that there's kind of these like little supports and stuff so uh, we can add that and maybe give that some um, some substance so again um, We'll want to probably get rid of a uh, material. Or do that, I guess. Um, let me... Go back because I don't want the um, I don't want the glass material. Where are the materials for these shapes? Oh. 
gold grid material. It's not here? Like... Please don't tell me I'm gonna have to paste this for every single thing. No, I don't, I don't have any idea. Obviously not. Oh my gosh. the default material I want so I don't know I think I'm gonna have to play around with this uh, at some other point but I think with that in mind um, I think this is a, a good stopping point um, I want to thank everybody for watching uh, the video here and uh, yeah if you like uh, what you see uh, make sure to subscribe uh, so you can see more videos as I make them and uh, you know if you have any suggestions or any questions uh, feel free to comment those down below and I'll try to get uh, back to you as soon as possible but yeah um, I want to thank everybody for watching uh, these are kind of a um, just a, a slow burn type of uh, content um, we don't get much done in the hour it seems but um, you know the time does go by and uh, you know, we managed to create a glass material, so it's better than nothing, I think. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, I can't wait to see you guys next video. And um, another thing that's coming up is Blocktober, so uh, look uh, forward to that. Um, I'm going to probably be uh, making a video uh, beforehand. Uh, probably here in the coming weeks um, picking the topics um, or the kind of the prompts uh, is kind of more the the language for that um, but yeah that's going to be coming up in a few weeks and I'm going to try to keep on um, with this um, overwatch level and also my unity um, level that I'm making with the um, the top down engine so yeah those are things i need to keep continue to work on and and again i hope you guys liked the uh audio quality for this video um this is something that um you know i'm hoping will just elevate my videos to a, a whole new level um but i thank everybody for watching and i hope to see you guys next video i'll see you guys later